Because in the dream, I said you are the you are the one that is a scammer. You that owe me money and you've not. Whoever bashes my name bashes God. And this is how we can all speak, we that are in Christ. You understand? If God leads you to do something good for somebody and the person turns around, is trying to, if they're fighting you, they think they're fighting you, but they're fighting God. It's not just for servants of God, for every believer. Because God is the one that will mess them up. God is the one that will do. So that wasn't even me speaking in the dream. Because it didn't sound like me. When I woke up from that dream, I felt like the lion was about to roar. I had to go pray to God to help me feel better. Because I didn't feel, I just felt like someone that, you know, like, I prayed. I said, Father, I forgive him. I didn't even know he had anything against me. I, for, I forgive him. I forgive everybody. I release him from my heart. But I use him for your glory. I have to pray, pray, pray. And then I just I said, thank you, Jesus. That was a serious dream. But I know God's going to do something to him. And God will do what God will do regardless of what we pray. You know that? Yes, yes. God is a God of justice. So um, maybe reading, reading Job today, I read on chapter I read on chapter fifteen, um, and it made me understand what you just said. That God will take you know God is basically as I say God is not sleeping, you know God sees everything. That's right. So whoever that accuser is that accused you, could be somebody that you've been nice to. I will deal with them for you in Jesus' name. All right, let me let your family go so I can get other people on. Thanks. Thank you, Apostle. We love you. We love you. <laughs> so we didn't even ask the mom what she was addicted to. Um, I don't know yet. I'm still praying. But there's nothing you can't do without. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm. If I have to be off Facebook, I don't have an addiction to Facebook. I don't have, um, I don't really go on Instagram that much. I'm not on TikTok. Um, and you don't really call people like that? Oh, before, before I got saved, I would stay on the phone for maybe three, four hours chatting rubbish. And, um, but from since God delivered me, from since I started looking at you last year, one of the worst I had was television. Like it was like basically my husband. Television became my husband. I did not have a relationship. I was addicted that badly. And God, from since I got delivered, looking at you, he removed, he just snatched it away from me. Just just like like right now, I don't even really look at TV that much a, a, anymore. I, I don't really, I'm, I have no taste for all the shows I used to look at, all the Marvel show, all the DC, all the series, I had an addiction. I would sit and look at it until my head hurt me. Wow. Yes. So now, somebody said, Kayla said gossiping. Who's, who was gossiping, your mom? Yeah, because other, oh, yeah, because other people would tell her stuff about somebody. That else. was before. That, yeah, that's what. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, before, before mommy, before my mom repented. Yeah, <laughs> I saw this coming. <laughs> 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 so God freed her from the spirit of gossiping. Yeah, because somebody would tell her something, and then she would say, "Oh yeah, oh I didn't hear that. Oh, oh okay, yeah, wow." And then it would just keep on going on, and my mom would just sit down, and be like, "What?" <laughs> we didn't even know this. <laughs> but she doesn't do that anymore. Not, not at all. I don't really talk to people that much. And God just took away. So I know with that fasting what he could do for people because I'm I'm really an example. My children is here. They don't yeah. they don't they wouldn't lie like that. They're not one of those kids that would come on here. If they have to put me on the spot, they would. That's how they are. She That's how I really on it. The one beside you, what's her name? Kylie Rose. Kylie Rose, you're, you're yawning. Are you hungry? No. <laughs> kind of. Just kind of. Ah! <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you say you were breaking? At six? My time? She said, no, she said she wanted to do it till tomorrow. Oh, man. And you just, I just saw you yawn. I'm like, oh, she's hungry. 
I'm not I overdoing it. With them, Apostle, I just want to make something clear instead of other, in case somebody is looking and think these kids is being forced. I'm a, I'm a Nobody boy. is being forced. You, they would tell me, mommy, I'm going to, you know what? Like um, Kara, who is five, she has never done it that long. Yesterday, she said, mommy, I want to see if I could do it. I want to see if I could. She did it and she broke last night at six in your time. And I never forced wow. her. And she's only five. I didn't force her. And the three-year-old, she did how much hours today? Oh, she Almost passed. five hours today fasting, Alexia. Because Alexia sees a lot with you. Oh, yeah. She sees God and the angel with you. So anytime you come on, when you sit on that white chair, she would tell us who else is there with you. Wow. Yeah, she has wow. We okay. see... Um, we see but don't worry. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, mm -hmm. The one in the back that was young. Kylie, Rose. Oh, Kylie. Kylie, you can you can break at six today. Oh, um, Apostle, sorry to to ask, but she she's a little bit shy. She wanted you to pray for her for for wetting the bed still. She still wears a a nappy. Okay, but I was still talking to her when you interrupted me. Sorry, I'm very sorry. So now I don't remember what I was saying. You told us she could break at six. Sorry, Apostle. My apologies. Okay, sweetie. You can break at six today, okay? Yes. Don't wait till tomorrow. Break at six, all right? Yes. Don't stress yourself too hard. Six is already so long for you, for you kids. Twelve is fine. Three is fine. If you want to push, you push, but don't over push, okay? God is still going to help you. All right? All right? So 6 o'clock, which is in two hours. You can do that, right? Yeah. yeah. And your mom says you still wet the bed. Is it on a regular or once in a while? I didn't. Every day. Every day? That's she not good. No, she waits for that. Do you have dreams that you're using the bathroom? No. So you just, it just happens. Okay. And how old are you, sweetie? Eight. Six? Eight. 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 All right. Put your hand on your forehead. Let me pray for you. Just take a deep breath. Close your eyes. I command that spirit of bedwetting to leave you now in the name of Jesus. You are free. But I help your daughter. From today, you will no longer wet the bed. In Jesus' name. You will know when to pee. You will get up and go use the bathroom. And everything else that the enemy has done to you, I break it right now. And I free you to be what God wants you to be. You are restored. Your destiny is restored. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you're going to send me that testimony now. Because you're not going to wet the bed again. You believe? Yes. Do you normally drink a lot of water before you sleep? She's a limit. No. You don't drink water at night to sleep? Before no. sleep? No. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'm sure you didn't like that your mom said this, right? No, she always wanted you to know. Like She always wanted to get a prayer for it. She always believed that. But, yeah. Maybe maybe she didn't want it publicly like this. Did you want it on a video like this? No. So now that it's on the video, you kind of feel shy about it. But that's how God wanted it, so that the enemy can be mad and just sleep. When you expose these things, they don't have power over you anymore. Okay? So don't be mad at your mom for saying it, Okay. Because I know how embarrassing this can be for kids. But it's good. If there's anybody else here that your child is going through this, put your hand on your forehead for your child. Or if they're there, let them put their hand on their head. I want to pray for all children that are still bedwetting. I command that demon of bedwetting to leave you right now, you that is watching me, in the name of Jesus. I declare you free. You will no longer pee on the bed anymore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thanks. Well, is there anybody else that needs something? Any other kids? 
No, none of the kids wet bed. None, none of them wet the bed. What is there anything else wrong with them? No. No. Anyone? No. It is long. All right. I love you guys. We love you. We love you. We love you. So you're gonna eat at six o'clock, which is in the next two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Don't stress yourself. Take it nice and easy. Okay. Yeah. God loves you. God loves you just the way you are. Now he doesn't like when you do bad things, but it doesn't change how he loves you. All right. So if you do anything that you feel like you're not proud of, nothing can change how God loves you. You just repent quickly. Right? Father, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I won't do it again. But Father still loves you. Regardless. Right? Yes. yes All right, ladies. Say hello to your daddy. Okay. okay. Is your daddy fasting too? Yes. 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 All right, the whole family. Yeah. yeah. All right, love you guys. Love, love you, too. bye. Bye-bye. All right, all of you, God loves you just the way you are. Now, that doesn't mean that he loves the sin that you are committing. We have to understand that nothing can change how God loves us. Because some people will feel like, oh, God doesn't love me. I'm a terrible person. I've done this. I've done that. Mm -mm. God loves you. He doesn't like the sin, the act of sin. But he loves you, the person. Do you understand? I have to say this because I don't know if there's somebody watching me thinking they're a disappointment to God, their failure. Remember the prodigal son, when he left his father, and went to go use all the money the father gave him to go do whatever he wanted to do. When he came back home, it did not change the love of the father. The father even ran to go meet him. Like the love of the son is always going to be there. <laughs> he didn't like what he did, which I'm sure eventually he will probably explain to him, but he still loved his son. He missed his son. He did a party for his son. You see, the son was thinking the father would hate him and say, you know what? Um, um, get out of my house. This is the dad. No, the father ran to go meet him, kissed him and hugged him and threw him a party, gave him a new robe, new ring, everything, everything. In fact, to the point that the brother was kind of upset. Why are you doing this for him? I've been here. I haven't left. You're not doing a party for me. But him, look what, with everything he did. You're showing him so much love because I've always loved him. I'm always going to love him. I don't like that he did what he did, but it doesn't change how much I love him. So there's somebody here. That God is speaking to. Somebody said, actually, I was telling the father to show me in my dream that he loves me. Wow, well, thank you, Father. You've answered my prayers. All right. So I knew this was for somebody. Every word that comes out of my mouth is for somebody. But this one just came while I was talking to the kids. And I knew God was speaking to somebody. I, say, I think it's for me. As I'm watching, the enemy keeps trying to condemn me in my mind for disobedience to God, even though I am remorseful. I have repented. Okay, good. So it's for you too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? Uh -huh. See? Everybody's in this. Uh-huh. God loves you just the way you are. But he does not like what you are doing that is not of God. That is a sin. Stop doing it. But always remember that God will never stop loving you. That's, it's because of how he loves us. So that's why he tries to get us to repent. Even people in prison that the whole world is condemning because they killed somebody. God loves them so much that he sends pastors to go to the prison to preach to them. Hey, did somebody hear this? 
Like these people are like assassins. They have killed people. Even their family rejected them. But because of the love of God, he has called some people into prison ministry. Why? For that one in the prison that has been abandoned, that everyone has called them names. Father will send somebody, even tell them the prison to go to. Sometimes he will even give them specific people to preach to. And they will be crying in the prison. They repent. They become better people. It's because of the love of God that somebody came to preach to them. Because that somebody was led by God to preach to them. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him. Somebody post John 3, 16. Whosoever believed in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. So God loves you so much. He gave his son to die for you. And look what his son had to suffer for you. God allowed that to show that he would not withhold anything good from you. So this word came strong and I'm giving it. So if it's for you, grab it, run with it. And if you've done anything that you're not proud of, say, Father, I am sorry. Forgive me. I love you, Father. Thank you for loving me so much. We love him because he loved us first. He first loved us. Hallelujah. And I also, when I read about Adam and Eve, when they disobeyed God and God kicked them out of that place, I saw the love of God when he made them close to cover themselves up. I've preached this before, but even now God is reminding me of that. Adam and Eve created, they made their own clothes to cover themselves up. But it wasn't solid. It was from the plants. But God gave them a better outfit, better leather outfit to make them more comfortable. These are people that just disobey God. <laughs> He's already telling them he, he could be firm. But he doesn't change his love. Do you understand? He's firm. But he still made them close because he loved them. And he wants them to be comfortable as they are going to the new place that they will be finding themselves. This is love. There are some of you, the way you love your kids. They are stubborn and everything. Maybe they move out. But even when they move out, you are upset. You are still trying to see that. Wherever they move to, they are comfortable. Even if they don't want to talk to you, you're trying to see if there's somebody that knows where they went to. You're still trying to find out. You still want it because there's this thing in your heart that you have towards your child. It's, it's love. Yeah. Sometimes you say, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this anymore. I'm done with this issue. But are you really done with this issue? Like, are you really done with this issue? It's your child. You love your child. You're not really done. You may not be saying anything, but you still love your child. Do you know what I'm saying? I use your child as an example. So if you can love like this, think about God's love. Hmm. This word is for somebody. Somebody that needed it right now. The scripture is coming to me. Matthew 7 verse 11. As I'm talking, I keep hearing the scripture. So I have to go to it. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to get some more, some more of you on the screen, eh? I want to read from verse 9 first. Mm, I feel the presence of God. In. It says, You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? 
Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? The King James says, if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask for him? So if you sinful woman, you evil person, know how to love your child enough to give them good gifts, how much more him, God, he loves even more. He gives even better gifts. He's a better father than any of you here. If you sinful people, all of us, we have sinned, come short of the glory of God. Mm. If we can love, we can show love, we can give gifts. You say, how much more your father in heaven? So as I use the, ch and the mother child example, God is reminding me of the scripture. The parents love their kids. They give good gifts. They do good things for them. If they can do that, God can do more. It's even God that teaches you how to love your children. It's God that teaches you. When I was talking to Kim, it was not just for her. It was for everybody else on here, especially some of the African parents. They can be so strict. I saw some things when I was growing up, and I was like, never. I'll never raise my child like this. You understand? They can flog you, flog you. I know I know you can flog kids and all of that, but sometimes the flogging may not even be necessary. Sometimes all you need is talk to them and talk out of love. What if every time we did something bad, God is always flogging us? Like today you lied or how many of you have seen this week or last week? How many of you have done anything bad this week? You know you did something bad this week because you asked God for mercy somehow within this week. Type me or so if it's you. What if because of that thing you did, it could have been something smaller and there's a big old rod. Eh? <laughs> and you're now you're afraid. You're like, Trey, I have I did something bad this week. Oh, hey, guess what? Uh I don't know how I approach God because the rod is waiting for me. So before you even be a man and say, Father, I'm sorry. Shut <laughs> it will even be hard to come and ask for forgiveness because you know the rod will always be waiting to whoop you. <laughs> so you're like, nah, 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 never mind. I'll just do a lot of things. Let it pile together, then I'll get one whooping for everything. But I can't get whooped for this little one. I'm still trying to recover from the last whooping. It will be hard to ask for mercy. But sometimes, just let that one minute we pray and God says, it's okay, you're forgiven. Hi. There are some that we get a whooping for, but it's not all the time. If it's all the time, we'll be tired to even approach him. We'll be afraid to approach him because we don't want to be whooped. So we got to relax on our kids. We have to be careful. This kid are even growing faster these days than when we were growing, than when our parents were growing. This kid, as early as 9, 10, I think they're even wiser now than <laughs> our time. If you don't want to lose your children, be careful. Be their friend. Have a conversation. It's not every time you whoop them. Let it not be ham, 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 ham. Every time. Let it be loving. Come on, sweetie. Come, baby. Come here. Come, honey. Come, my darling. Come here. You know, give them that love. Let them have it. Because maybe they don't have it when they go out there. So you have to give it to them. The way God gives you love. Every time you go to God's presence, you feel his love. You feel his peace. When your children come around you, they need to feel your love. They need to feel your peace. Do you understand? And this word is for all parents out here. Let them feel your love. 
hug your kids. Some of you haven't hugged your children in a long time. I always tell my son, Michael, come hug me. Come. Sometimes I'll say, kiss me. Mm. One day when he was kissing me, I said, mm. I said, anytime you kiss me, just melt my heart. Yeah. And it works. And me and my son were like this. We're good. I don't know why God is saying this because maybe because we are dealing with addiction. Now your kids will need more of you now because you are you are helping them stay away from this thing that replaced the mother, daughter, son, father. So now when this thing is gone, you will now need to have more time with them. So God is teaching you how to do it with them. Yeah. What is it? It's for me, Apostle. When I'm sitting here talking, don't think it's me. It's not really me. Or I think it's God. From the time that I sit down here, because there's somebody that needs to hear every word. So the next person we have is Elijah. Elijah, my darling. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. Elijah, that can can you speak up a little bit, or is it just me? I I can. Elijah, you doing the fasting? Yes, ma'am. God. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you. Oh. Let me see you, Apostle. Oh man, and you guys haven't come to Ohio since I moved there. No, not yet. So when are you planning to come? I don't know. It's up to my mom and God. Because your mom works now, right? Yeah, she does. She works a lot. She works a lot? So how, how are you and your brother doing? Uh, me and my brother are doing good. So tell me, what what did you have to give up that you were addicted to? Well, um... I wasn't really addicted to Facebook, so I believe that, um, I deleted YouTube because I was addicted to YouTube, and, uh, I deleted a game, it was called Roblox, um, uh, my, my mom asked me if I was still playing it, and I would say, uh, no, even though I was still playing it, because I was addicted to it. So you were lying? Yes, I was. Did you tell her? Yes, I did. And you 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 repented. Yeah. So the game even made you lie. Yes, it did. The addiction was so much that you had to lie to your mama. But naturally, do you lie about other things or no? Yeah, I do lie once in a while. Elijah, how old are you, sweetie? I'm ten. And you lie once in a while at ten? So isn't that something you want to come out of? Yes, I do. So what are you trying to do to stop that? I'm trying to do whatever my mom tells me to do. Um, behave and uh, love God more, do my, read my Bible and do stuff I'm supposed to do. So now the ro- ro- what do you call the game? Roblox? Yeah, Roblox. Isn't that the one they say that um, it's Somebody mentioned that yesterday on the video, on the audio, that it's, it's, it's dangerous. So is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. So tell me, why did you like playing that? Um, on Roblox, uh, I would be connected to some of my friends back in Maryland. Oh, and you are able to connect with people. Yeah. And then uh, we'll play fun games on there. And it was fun. And because why why did you find yourself playing games like that? Because uh in Roblox, um after a while I had real I saw that people were um having a uh, like church in there and then they were also like preaching, teaching 
So there's a good side. Yeah, that's the only good side that I see in there. So were you preaching there? Yes. And people were listening to you? Yeah. So you can actually have it and use it for the good side? Yes, I could. So which one were you doing more? The good side. Oh, so you stopped playing and then you started preaching? Yes, I did. That means it was no longer a bad thing now. No, it wasn't because I was always teaching faith in God, repentance and all that. Did anyone, all of you watching, did you guys know that the Roblox um, thing had preaching? Maybe some of you, your kids are watching. Because I've never heard that the game had um preaching thing in there. Yeah, the this is the first game I'm hearing that they have such such thing. So now you had to uninstall Roblox? Yeah, I uninstalled it again. I can't hear you, sweetie. Yeah, I under I uninstalled it again. How did it feel when you did? Uh I felt like um I let go of something big and I felt like a few things need to be done, but then I just left it alone. So when you uninstalled it, did you feel bad? Yeah, I did. You almost cried? No, I didn't like it up to the point where I would cry. Okay. But you felt like a part of you was missing. Yes, I did. And was that the whole day feeling or when did you uninstall it? Um, like yesterday. So day one of the fast? Yeah. Was it while I was on the video or before I came on? Um, after the video. And you just went to it? Your mother said he told me that he was preaching. He said he built a church and we preach, but I told him no, no video games, period. <laughs> oh, is that the kind of thing that Facebook is doing with the meta something where you can build something, a business, build church? That's yeah. how they do it. Yes. So it's like an imaginary stuff. Doesn't uh, that mess with your mind? Yes, it does. Do you, so it's, it's, it's like takes you into the game? Yes, it does. So you, it either somebody builds it and you go there or um, somebody uh, or you build it and you go there and preach. Okay, so wait, this is the same thing that Facebook was advertising about the, is it the metaverse or meta something? Is that it where you, like there's an imaginary world, right? And you go into it, you will be like you're in the game. Is that it? Yeah, like um, your the character that you have. Hmm. And it feels so real, right? Yes, it does. Hmm. That thing is not good. Because after a while, you st you don't you don't you don't know what it's like to live in the real world anymore. It messes with your mind. Wow. So has somebody say it's a vi virtual world. Is that it? Yes, it is. Wow. So now even when you dream, doesn't that affect your dreams? No, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It doesn't really affect my dreams or anything. So yeah. what does it affect? It affects my uh my focus on my schoolwork and uh, schoolwork, school, and most of the stuff I use, I do. I'm gonna say that affects your brains. Yeah, it does. It makes you want to play more and more and more. It's like that's all you need. You just need to be in that world. Yes, it does. That's how I feel. Wow. Wow. Okay. So a lot of kids play this one? 
yes, they have like a, they say they have like a, over like three million people playing it. Three million. Yes, we'll look up three million. Wow. And it's messing with their brain. Yeah. This is not good. Somebody say it messes up your your thought process. Wow. Elijah, this has really affected you, right? I want you to be to be truthful. Because when you come on my platform, it's God's platform. And God wants to use you to teach others. What are some of the side effects of that game that you think might affect other kids? Well, um, sometimes you may want to uh, play it more and then spend so much money on it to customize your character, which is not good. You're basically risking your own money. And then some side effects from it, your head, your head, um, you start getting angry. And then you get angry, you start uh, getting rude and that, and you don't want to do anything basically you just want to play that all day wow did it did it make you get angry sometimes mm, yeah a few times yes it did and how many hours would you normally spend playing it well um sometimes i will spend the whole day The whole day. The whole day. Wow. Your mother said, yes, it affected him a lot. I believe it affected him hearing from God. I believe he was lying more and secretive. Wow. This is true, right? Because yeah. your mom would not lie now. Wow. So you're not hearing God like you used to hear before. No. Wow. And that's, what's the name again? Somebody type that name. You say what? Roblox. Roblox. And it's free to get it? Yeah, it's free. You just go and download it? You download it? Yeah, it is. You have to download it for free. And then if you want like a, a customized character that your stuff that you have is not free, you have to pay for it. For you to buy it. So you spend money on it too? No, some people will do me a favor and, and buy some for me. So people can spend money on it? Yes, it, they can. So you can either um make a uh make a t-shirt and then like a product and then they can pay for it and then you can get the money. The virtual game money. Wow. So this fasting is really for kids too. What do you think will happen to you in 21 days of not playing that thing? I think I will forget about it. Not have interest in it no more. Are you almost forgetting or it's still kind of hard right now? It's still kind of hard. Are you tempted to go put it back on? Mm, no, but I really do miss it. Somebody say it mess with their brain. Sometimes my son can't sleep at night. Is it true? Is there times you can't sleep at night? You keep thinking of the game? Um, not for me, no. You sleep well. Yeah, I sleep well because I because I play. Hmm. Wow. Somebody said when we came to New York, my son spent seven hundred dollars buying stuff on that game. And I could not get the money back. Seven hundred dollars. People can spend that much. They can spend as much money on they want as to get the virtual money. That's what they do. So when they get the virtual money, what do they use the virtual money for? So they have games that you could buy with the money, and then you can customize your character, buy expensive faces, hair, um, face, uh, clothing. And stuff like that. Wow. 
So now that you've uninstalled it, what happened to all the money you, your your friends spent for your for you to get stuff? Well, me, I spent it in like two minutes. So I don't have any right now. So wow. Wow, your mom says she she did not even know all this. She was led to tell you to pray for one hour every day. Were you able to pray for one hour every day? Sometimes I could. And sometimes you couldn't? Yeah, sometimes I couldn't. And why couldn't you? Tell us. Because of the game. The game will be pulling you? Yes. Wow. And then what would you do? Because your mom is probably not home, right? Or is she home? She's home. So, but she doesn't know you're not praying. Oh, uh, no, she's not home. She's at work. So then you would just, you would lie that you prayed? Yeah, I do. Wow. And you didn't pray? No, I don't pray. But you are somebody that God is using and you, you were comfortably lying to your mom because of that game. Game. Somebody said, Apostle, my little brother is playing that game and he doesn't even sleep at night. He spent the whole day playing it. He's not doing anything in the house. He's 19 year old. He gets really angry at all, at all of us. But I deliver him now in Jesus' name. Wow. So when I called this fast, were you happy or you knew you were going to eventually have to get let go of that game, right? Yeah, I knew I was gonna have to let go. This is like before I start the school, the new school year or not. I knew I was gonna have to uh, let go of that game. Otherwise, you won't do well in school. No. Wow. So God called this fast at the right time before school starts. Yeah, it starts next month. So even now, as you're talking to me, have you thought about this game? Yeah, I'm thinking about the stuff that I do on there. That's like a preaching part. But what are some of the stuff that you did on there? Tell us. Well, they have um, virtual um, basketball games. They have um, a game that you can pretend like you're a prisoner and then you can get money, steal and rob to um, buy houses and uh, and uh, buy uh cars and then they had um other the other game the um, the role play game where you can pretend you can have your family wow hey you know i didn't even know who i know somebody mentioned that game yesterday roblox but God, because God wanted me to get some of you on the screen, not knowing that he wanted to use a few of you to teach people and to show people how badly this is affected people. How many of you here have your kids doing this fast? Type me if you are your kids or your family members, because as you can see, this fasting is for everyone. And God is not just telling them to uninstall, delete. He's also going to come in the spirit and deliver them because it's a spiritual thing, not just not just the deleting part. There's something that pulls. The thing that pulls them has to be kicked out. Otherwise, even after the fire, they may go back to it. So God will free them. Oh, my God. Thank God it's summer holiday here. I don't know about other countries. So Elijah, you are you are in summer. Are you going to summer school or no? No, not summer school. So wow. So you were now thinking that this summer you're gonna play enough game, have yeah. enough time, no, no schoolwork, no nothing, right? Well, my mom gave me schoolwork, so I have to stop playing that game and do it. What of your younger brother? He doesn't play any games. But do you even have time to spend with him when you're playing games all the time? Yes, sometimes I do play with him. You play the game with him? No, he doesn't play the game. I just play with him. When you play with him, like how long do you spend playing with him? Like an hour, two hours, sometimes. 
Like an hour? Like Yeah, like an hour. So while you are playing with him, are you thinking of the game or you're focused on the playing with him? I'm thinking of the game, so I just want to give him some time with me. So you're, you're, you're kind of rushing him pretty much, trying to get off quickly. Yeah. So anything you are doing, even when you're watching me, have you even been able to focus on watching me? Um, yes, I do. Your voice became low. What happened? Did yeah, you get a phone call? No, I'm using a laptop. You, you just clicked on something. It reduced your voice. It made it very low. I think it should be better now. Is it better now? Lower than before. It were louder before. Uh, uh, I don't know what happened. Okay, it's coming back. Come closer to it and talk. All right. Okay, so you've not been able to watch my videos like before again. No, I, I haven't ever been able to watch the videos like before. Ah, it's very low now. Elijah, what did you do now? Do you have your phone? No, my mom took it away from me. So the only thing you can use is the laptop? Yeah, and the only thing I can use is the laptop. Your mom said last night she had a dream that a force like a, an electric ball entered him. And I lay my hand on his head, delivering him in my dreams. So that means... The gate. Is your mom there? Yes, yeah, she's there. Okay. Mom, we can't really hear him, and he has a lot of good info. I don't know what happened. I, we could hear him before, but he got low. Did you press the volume on the laptop? Yeah, I did. I did press the volume. You guys can still hear him, right? Just speak louder. I think we can hear. Okay. Um. It's back. It's back, too. Right. It's back loud again. Okay, so your mom said she saw something get in you. Yeah, she told me the dream. So you think that thing came from the the game? Maybe God that's was showing her. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Because the thing has changed something in you, right? Yeah, it has. You're no longer that man of God that you used to be, right? No, I'm not. You don't spend time in the ward anymore. You don't read the Bible anymore. No, I don't. And when did this whole game addiction start? In, I think in 2020, 2021, when uh, I was indicated and then God said we are not allowed to play any more games. Um, I had deleted it for the first, like, like the last half of 2021. And then after um, that, I, I, I felt like I needed to come back. So I came back and then I became uh, a little... Uh, Something pulled you back when you removed it. Yeah, you did. Was it boredom, loneliness? What what do you think would have caused it? Like uh, boredom, loneliness. I was kind of bored. Um, didn't have a lot of things to do, so... But you have a brother. Yeah, I have a little brother. But there are some people that have no brother, no sister. Like my son, he's by himself. So you guys that have somebody with you, it's still you still get bored. Yes, we do. Because your brother is quiet or what? Yeah, he is quiet. So you just heard a voice tell you to go install it. Yeah, it was like a force. Stack of force pulled you to it. And you didn't fight. No, I didn't fight. Sometimes I would try my best not to uh, play it and like keep away from it. But then I wanted to. Um, Speak a little louder, sweetie. And then I wanted to come back. So. Wow. And that was since last year. The addiction became worse when. Towards one month or what year, this year or um, in March. March this year it became worse. Yes, it did. How do you know it became worse? Like what happened? Well, 
I started to see more churches and I got uh, invited to a lot of them. And then I used to, I, I, and then the churches that they had there were, I really enjoyed going there. So then I wanted to do it more and more and more. So then I became addicted to it. So when you say the churches, what kind of messages do they preach in those virtual churches? Um, believing in God, um, speaking out and not being afraid. Um, they, um, they preach, um, some messages that talk about like, uh, God and repentance. So basically the, the messages that I, the messages that I listen to, the ones that I, well, yeah, I listen to, they, it's like, um, holiness messages, but it's not like, actually. And you were enjoying them? You will sit down and watch it all? Yeah, sometimes I will sit for the whole service and watch it. But did it pull you closer to God or it was still not enough? It wasn't enough. But in your head, you were listening to God's messages, so it's okay, right? Yeah. That's what I felt like. But, but something was still missing. But the messages, somebody said, I hope it's not their new age so-called church. Is that the kind of message, new age church? Yes, I believe so, too. Who said I believe so, your, your mom? Yes, yes. sorry, Apostle, I'm in the corner here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so, Mom, now that you're here, God bless you, when did you notice that he was playing? I did not even know that he was playing. I just noticed that something changed after God told him to get off of um, the the face, Facebook. Something inside of him changed, and he he wasn't dreaming or no what no was he coming to me and telling you because usually when God give him a message, he was like, "Oh, mommy, mommy, I just hear this from God. He will come and share with me. Oh, mommy, mommy, God gave me this message." And I realized he wasn't dreaming, nor was he telling me of the messages that he was hearing. So I wanted to ask him, I said, are you still hearing from God like he used to? <laughs> and then one day he told me, he said, mommy, I can't hear God anymore. Wow. Wow. And then you now started finding out what he was doing? Woman of God, I did not even know he was playing the game because as far as I know, I, he had uninstalled it from his iPad, from his um, um, from his phone. But before this, the fast started, it's like I had a strong leading to take his phone from him, take the phone, take the iPad, take everything. And then when I had the phone, I realized there's an alternative way for them to communicate on the phone without you even knowing. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was something else. I never heard of it. Discord or whatever. And you know, because I have the phone, so I can see all of the his emails, I can see his messenger messages. So I was like, what is this? And so he started telling me, me, I'm not computer literate. I don't know all of this technical stuff. I don't know. So I won't know. Once he tell me that it's off, I just believe him. But mm. then now, and then I realized that he started lying. Hey. Before Elijah, regardless of what's going on, he would tell you the truth as it is. But then he started lying. Are you doing your homework? Like just yet last night, I had to punish him. I told him, I said, are you doing your work? He would, he would tell me with a straight face, yes, mommy. Oh, are you doing X, Y, Z? Did you do your English? Did you do, do whatever? But he did not know that last night, something just came over me and said, look at his at the stuff that he's doing. He wasn't hmm. doing it. Oh, wow. Wow. Elijah. This fasting is for you. Yeah, I believe it is. Because it's like something in you is crying for help. Help me. And you say you had a dream last night? Yes, I had a dream. And one of them was me and him. At, at the time when I was when I was doing the dream, I wasn't sure. But when I was writing, I realized we were here in America because we were like in a, in a park bench where the bench and the table is connected. And he was sitting there doing something. I don't know if he was playing with something or watching something. And I was sitting to the side and some other people were there with us, but I couldn't see their faces. And then all of a sudden I saw like a, like an electric ball. 
like a, some kind of, you know, usually when, when they have the image of the, of the electric ball, it was, it floated, like three of them came from the heavens, it came down. And then one of them, I told people to move, but I couldn't tell him fast enough to move out of the way. And the thing got into him. And in the dream, I was like, I, came, I went over to him and I put my hand on his head and I started praying. I'm like, I don't know what I was saying, but I was like, out in the mighty name of Jesus, out. And then it's the scene changed another dream. Elijah, how have you been feeling lately? Your kind of dreams that you've been having, good, bad, or no dream? I believe I have dreams, but I don't remember them. So once you wake up, you don't remember? Yeah, I don't remember. And we used to have such powerful dreams, powerful encounters, but I, I will, nothing. Wow. The enemy snatched all of that. Well, this fasting is for him. How about the, the little boy? It's the same thing, Apostle. He used to dream too. And yesterday, or day before, I think yesterday, um, before we went to bed, we were doing Bible study and reading the bed, and we were in a prayer room. This is my prayer room. So we're laying on the floor. And he said, Mommy, can we sleep in the prayer room today so I don't have bad dreams? And hey. I, said, I said, do you have bad dreams? He said, I don't know. I don't remember. And he used to have dreams that would make me jealous. I was like, what? He, like he would tell me things like powerful encounters. He, <laughs> these like he, the, the dreams that he would have, he tell me about, he knows what Angel Michael looked like. He said Angel Michael that came and took him to heaven they, and they were sitting and he went to Jesus. All those powerful dreams. Now he don't remember anything. Wow. So that means Whatever the open door is in the house is affecting everyone. It's affecting him, even the one that is not playing the game. But he sees his brother playing it. Yes, he does. And he's usually around his brother. And actually, like simple things like, hey, Elijah, did you guys take a shower? Because I, he probably wrapped up in the game. He, he, don't, he, he didn't take a shower before I get home. So I will ask Michael, I said, did you guys take a shower? He said, mommy, hold on. Let me go ask Elijah. That's how, hey. I knew, that's how I knew that they were, he was lying. And I, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the little boy, how old is Michael? Five. So, because <laughs> if he answers, no, Elijah will get him in. Who who say, <laughs> Elijah. Did you tell him not to tell your mom that you haven't showered? <laughs> I will tell him to um, say yes, we did shower. Oh, you wanted him to lie? Yes. Oh. So when when he comes and he asks you, what do you say? You say, say yes. And he will come and he'll say, yes, mommy, we showered. He will say yes, mommy. But I would have already known that he had on the same underwear for the night before. He doesn't know <laughs> no. But I just wanted to see what had the dynamics between them. And then he would tell the truth, and then he would start calling him a snitch. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so interesting, my God. So you, you call your brother a snitch for telling the truth? Yes. How can he be sneaking? He's telling the truth. So this game makes you to forget to shower, Elijah. Yes, it does. So some days, I, I, has there been any day you didn't shower for two days or something? Or Yes, there has. Two days or three days? Tell us how many, maximum. Maximum will be at least like two, two days. Two or three days. Hmm. You you just you, you just you just didn't have time for shower. No. They felt like shower was too too long. Yeah, shower was too long. And then even your brother would not shower too that long. No, he wouldn't shower that long, but I'll make him shower. I go put him inside the shower, then shower him. Wow. Are you guys seeing what addiction can do? Addiction can make you forget the shower. I know it's not just kids that are going through this. Even adults, they all have something they're addicted to. But yours, is it just the game, Elijah? Or is there something else you were addicted to besides the game? No, it's just the game. 
and now the game is gone. This computer that he's using, is it not able to get um, the game on it? No, th this is my computer in the, in my prayer room. So no. So he has no gadget, no device. Yeah. No, I just realized what he would do. I had the little brother have his own iPad. So when I'm at work, he will use the brother's iPad, log in under a different, um, um, how you call it, um, email address. He created a different email address. And then he will go ahead and get into it. So I just told his brother, I said, well, guess what? We're all going to be on a fast, no gadgets, period. So now they don't have any gadgets? No gadgets. Are you sure that you don't have a, a hidden gadget somewhere, Elijah? Uh, no. Are you sure? Tell us, because at this point, we can't really trust you. I don't have any. Um, I just have my phone. I How about the TV? Are they, able, are they able to use the TV to log on? Because <laughs> this is crazy. Because you know all the smart TV, sometimes you can connect to social media from there. Are you sure he hasn't figured out something? No, Apostle. That one, for you to play the TV, I will, I will have to know. No. So how has it been for you today, Elijah? Because it's almost evening and you've not had any gadgets. What has it been like? Are you having uneasiness? I feel uh, all right. You sure? Tell us. Uh, I want you to be truthful. I felt this morning, I didn't feel like I needed to play it this morning. Um, I felt like I was like done with it. Like I no, did. Mommy, do you believe him? No, Apostle. Did you observe him today? Like Yes. Um, before all this Roblox addiction, he was addicted with God. He was addicted to God and he was, he was um, Everything that have to do, like you can't, like you can't, get, he can't get enough. He will praise, preach, do dance, make noise, do all kind of stuff about about for God. He will prepare a message and preach just to him and God. But now I don't see that. But this morning I think because there's an iPad in my prayer room that always play your instrumentals. So he was he had it on and he was holding it. He held it for a little bit and I was going to lay down and watch a movie or do something. I don't remember what I wanted to do. Then I came back. Something just came. Come back and watch and make sure that he's not he's not on the on the iPad. But he was doing a praise break. So you still feel like any chance he gets. But what you saw in your dream sound like deliverance, though. Like he was going through a deliverance. Sounds like it. Because what you saw came down from heaven. Right? Yes, Apostle. So what, it, 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 it could have been that something left him after you were doing out, praying. But it's, not, it's a process. Maybe that's why God made the fast longer like this. Because it's not something they can just overcome overnight. One week, two weeks, three weeks. They'll be back because he said that he likes that we're doing this before school starts. Otherwise, he doesn't know how he would function in school. At least he's being truthful about that. I, I am that God made because today when when I had the dinner, I said, "Chai, if we had if if I had messenger and a woman of God was on messenger, I would have sent him the message. I said, Father, you taking her away from us." I said, now I have to come to you. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know. I begin to inter I can't even interpret the dream. I said, okay, well, I'm waiting. But it sounds like deliverance to me, though. You say it came down from heaven. Yeah. And, you know, it came down on him from heaven. So it's like God was delivering him, and God was using your mouth to shout out, "Come out!" You understand? Because that wasn't you that was shouting out. That was God. So something heavy would have left him. Wow. Hmm. So all this while Elijah has not been watching me. No, because usually 
if he's watching, he'll be the one if, if I'm at work, he'll text me, Mommy, um, Apostle is on. Or, Oh, Mommy, did you hear what Apostle say? But now, I'll be, it was when I'm driving home, I'll call him, I said, um, Did you see what Apostle, did you have you been watching Apostle? He said, No. Wow. Just imagine how other kids that are playing this. Elijah, do you think other kids all over the world are feeling the same way as you? Yes. I think they do. So. I don't know why we can't hear him, but we hear you. I believe they do feel the same way I feel. And don't you feel sorry for their parents? I, I, I do. And I do feel sorry for them. Do you feel sorry for the kids then? Yes, I do. And this thing could have continued even even when you people go to school, they could still take their gadgets to school and in class they're playing it, right? They could, but I don't, I don't see anybody do it. In school? Yeah, nobody does it. But with the way the addiction is going, who knows what will happen when school comes back? Because this thing is over. And because of COVID and all that, children started doing online schooling. Did Elijah ever do online school? Yes, he did. Um, before we last That's year, how you got him all the gadgets? Well, the, the yes and no. The, 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 the Some of them were for school. And then because he was online, I wanted him to have his own iPad so that he doesn't like mess with mine. Or to, He was using it to like... When he wants to preach, he can use that to reference Bible stuff. So I got him all that stuff. And the phone he got when I was away working, he, he, it was hard to get in contact with. So I got him a phone. So I just upgraded him, upgraded him when we came here. And because he'll be at the daycare, I wanted to get be able to reach him. Somebody said all that he said is what happens to my grandson with the game. It's true. Wow. It is well. So God brought you on here so that you can speak for other kids too. But well, Elijah, which other game is out there that you used to play or was it just Roblox? It was Fortnite. For, what? Which one is that? Fortnite. Is that a popular one too? Yeah, it's popular, but now it's reducing to get less popular now. Why is it getting less popular? Because before I left it, they it, it, before I left, stopped playing it. They said that um they had removed it um from the Apple Store, the Apple um App Store. So then it became less popular because there were a lot of users on um on the uh, Apple devices. So then it became less popular, and then the um the the um the updates that they put on the game um people didn't like it so they stopped playing the game wow so fortnite is another bad one wow wow so do you know other names Somebody said Roblox, Minecraft, Fortnite, Pokemon. Are these all? Yeah, those, those are. Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, PUBG, GTA. You know all these names? Genshin. Yeah, I don't know what Genshin Impact 2 is, but I know GTA, and I know Fortnite, and I know Roblox and things like Hmm. Do you think adults also play this or just kids? Some adults do play it. How do you know? You see them? Yeah, I used to watch them play, but I stopped watching them. How do you watch people play? So you would go on YouTube and then type up um, Roblox or whatever it is, and you see people playing it. Mm. So this addiction is not just for kids, even adults? Even adults. Wow. Because I know the, the Fortnite he started playing when he went to his dad, and his dad is addicted to 
video games and the Fortnite is very violent. Hmm. How is it violent? What do they do there? There's like guns, shooting, killing. Like it, it, it mimics like a um like a maybe like a car crash in, in a real street, like when they go try to, to like gangs will come up together to go um to go rob a neighborhood or to take something down. Like with because one time I, I heard it was a lot of gun gunshots and stuff. Wow. So you think some of this uh, mass shooting, these people may have been playing games. Yes, I believe so. And 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 I remember I remember that there was there was somebody that told me to learn how to drive a car from playing games. Wow. They will learn how to drive a car. Learn how to drive a car because there's a simulation. It's like a like the, a virtual world. And everything there is simulated to to mimic reality. So he learned how to drive a car in the virtual world before. Then he used the skills there to drive a, a a car in reality. Wow! This thing is so. I'm just here, just talking to God, and I'm like. <laughs> Maybe this is why God is even putting me only on YouTube. Because all these, he wants people to be able to get silence. Laya, did you feel some kind of silence today, like peace? Yes. I like did. quiet? Yeah, it felt quiet and relaxed. It felt quiet and you're fasting too, right? You, you break at six? Uh, I, I break at three, but I'm waiting. Um, well, yeah. Somebody else put some more games on. Yeah. It said Call of Duty, Black Ops, Back for Blood, Zone Query, Friday the 13th, Dying Light. Like, do you know some of these names? I only know Call of Duty because my dad used to play it. So you see your dad all the time? You go see your dad all the time? Yeah. Before, we, before. before. But since you came to Houston, you haven't gone? No. So that means will he go and see him anytime soon? Oh, because no, never. Mm -mm. <laughs> Are you... Elijah, you don't want to go see your dad anytime soon? I do, but no. So you feel like when he goes there and comes back, it's... oh, he when when he goes the time that I was away working. And he spent majority of time, the time with him to help with the computer, online schooling. He became a different person. He will call me crying because they will be um, talking bad about me and he couldn't take it. Or he will call me that he's not able to eat. Like one time they, they went away for a family reunion. He came back broken. It's like, so I called his grandmother, his father's mother. And I told him, I said, you know what? I'm having the leading to separate him from my child. And that day, I think it was God that took that woman's mouth. He said, you know what? You do what is right for your son, for your child. And he gave me an instant where there was, something was going on. Elijah could not talk to his dad because he was intimidating him so much that he was paralyzed with fear. One time he was in the car talking to me. And his dad was few feet from him. He wanted to go to the bathroom, woman of God. He didn't have the courage to come out of the car to tell his dad, I want to go to the bathroom. He would have rather stayed there and pee on himself. And I said, no. Elijah, is this true? It's true. So you, you have this fear around your dad? So these are some of the reasons why you get lonely and bored and you just feel like you need to keep yourself busy, right? Yes, I feel like I need to keep myself busy.
this is well. So some of you are so blessed to have a ministry or a church where God is trying his best to help everyone. How about people that don't go to church or, or they are not doing something like this? They are helpless. They probably start having mental problems because these kind of games can make people have mental problems. And some people have a lot of family thing going on, so they put all their attention on the games. So they, they don't have to think about anything, right? Elijah, when you're playing game, you don't think of daddy, mommy, or nothing, right? You just think of the game. Has God ever tried to get you out of it? Have you felt like God didn't like what you were doing? Yes, I did. Oh, before I was going to school, um, there was this dude that I didn't like, and I believe he's a wizard because he had a ring with a whole bunch of triangles, like four I triangles. Can't hear, I can't hear you. Get closer. Yes, God did try to get me uh, from stop playing that. So, um, there was this uh before while I was in school, there was this dude that I believed he was a wizard because I saw him with the ring that had like four triangles on it and then a whole bunch of dragons behind it. So then I saw that ring and then I wanted him to leave because he was very mean and strict and he was always angry. So the, the the day that I wanted him to leave, I said, God, I want I want him to leave. If you make him leave, I'll stop playing the game. And then the, when I came inside, the, the, that same day, I was told that he got fired. Mm. So God is trying so hard to help you. Your son goes to like a public school? Yes. Um, so the Katie ISD school district. Okay, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Do you like your school? No, but we're leaving. We went to, we're going to the Harmony School. Yeah. Which one is that? It's a charter school, but it's still under the KDISD um, school di district. So when is this starting that one? Uh, I I don't know when they school. Oh, I think they open on the 15th, I believe. So that's a private school, right? It's a, well, a chartered school. On the, but it's still public, but it's a char charter school. It's geared to the sciences. Okay. And God told you to take him there? Well, um, he had a in the mom's face. Oh, there you go. He had a dream where um, the school, that particular school, was not um, helping him because when he came the first school year, he struggled so bad, and they didn't have resources. They were not able to help. Uh, no, nothing. So I, I was frustrated, and I said, you know what? And I did research, and I found out that this the. The Harmony schools are pretty good, and the one that is across the street from us, they have a lot of resources, like stuff that he can do to prepare away from from school. So when he gets to school, he's prepared. So I said, "Well, let's try." And he had a dream where he said the whole school was dark, and the only way there was light was his classroom. So I said, "You know what?" Because while you were talking, while he was talking, I was hearing God tell me to to tell you to get him into a private school. But when you now said the chartered school, I was like, hmm, isn't that private school? That's already like private school, right? It is. Yeah, they wear uniform. It's much more structured, much more. The class is supposed to be less. So I was hearing private school. So when you said that, I was like, hmm. So I believe his dream is from God. And you've already registered and everything. It's a lottery that you have to play, and I, I don't know how God, this is God that did it. Both of them got in once, and it's literally across the street from where we live. And they will be more active. Yes. It is well. All right, Elijah. Let me play, let me pray for you, sweetie. But God doesn't want me to pray for you like this. God wants you to get water and everybody else get water. Let me bless water. Everybody, adults, kids, everyone. This is water that will 
break every addiction. Deliver you from, just like the three minutes water, but this one is specifically for every addiction. Thank you, Father. I love you so much. Mercy, her little niece shot herself in the head. She was only 10 years old. And I do believe those games contributed as well. Wow. Wow. So kids are killing themselves. I never heard of that before. You've, you've never heard of it? No, I never heard of that before. Okay. If you have um, your water ready, say you are ready. I called my son. He already had his water. I need mine too. Because God was telling me to bless water. So this will be a good time for everybody. Even your kids, husband, anyone. Every day we'll keep praying for this addiction thing to go. Otherwise, people that are meant to be great, the devil was going to plan to destroy them. All right. Just close your eyes, everybody. Focus. Thank you, Father, for this fasting. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for exposing all of these things so the world can see the plans of the enemy. Father, even as I was praying, um, as I was talking to Elijah, you told me to bless water, that this is how you want to deliver your children. So right now, I command everybody's water, including mine, to turn into the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I release the grace, the fire, the power, the anointing upon my life into your water, into mine in the name of Jesus. I should drink it, every spirit of addiction from any kind of games or social media or gadgets or smoking or weed or um, bad habits, any kind of addiction. As you drink this water, it will flee and it will never come back in the name of Jesus. This is deliverance water. Father, you put us on this fasting. So even as we drink it, we believe that you will cleanse us out. You will remove every evil spirit, every addiction, every evil deposit, every sickness, every disease from our bodies, even as we drink this in the name of Jesus. This is no longer ordinary water. It is now the blood of Jesus. Drink it and be free. Angels begin to touch them as they drink in Jesus' name. This is what God wanted me to do. So drink, believe. When you were talking, and all these people saying they have somebody, they know somebody that this is happening to. God started showing me water. Drink, all of you, drink it and just believe. Drink and believe. Drink and believe. And when those kids were on before you, and one of them was yawning, and I told her to eat at six, God said I should tell everyone that they can break at six o'clock and eat today. So in the next one hour, all of us can eat at six. I didn't want to say it then. I wanted to say it later, but Elijah, you can eat. You said you were going to do yours at three, right? But since you waited, you might as well, you can wait till six, right? It's almost six, right? Do you finish your water? Let me see how much you drank. Drink some more. And God is going to restore you. And you're going to be back to dreaming as you used to dream. You're going to start hearing his voice. Don't you miss his voice? And it has to be quiet for you to hear him. So you used to hear my videos or talk up, but you never really watched them. 
Don't you think there are some people like that? They share the video. You think they're watching, but they're. Yeah. Hi. It is well. Some of you will be burping. Some of you will be yawning. This water. In fact, and we'll crop that part out for people to go use it. There's a lot of people that are addicted. This is serious. But the thing is, God always has solution for people. But are they willing to accept his help? You are willing because your mom is helping you. And your mom took your stuff. Were you angry at first when she took everything? You know, I was sad. You were sad? Yeah. At her, not angry at her, but you were sad. Yeah, I was sad and worried. And how was your sleeping was last night? Was it good? Yeah, I did Actually, you say you, you, you uninstalled it today, not yesterday, right? Yes, uh, YouTube. I am uh, uninstalled today. Uh, yesterday, I uninstalled the game. Okay, you will be fine. God is doing something. All right, you'll be fine. God is for him to even show your mom that dream. He already started working on you. Okay, so we'll check with you again when I call again, maybe in a week to see how you coped with it and how useful you became. You're gonna read your Bible now. Do you have a physical Bible? Yes, I do. What, is it in King James or? I think it's modified King James. No, he, you have, he has multiple. He has NIV, King James, New King James. Oh, wow. You, you don't have NLT? I do. I, oh, NLT too, yes. Yeah, I don't really read from NLT. So you have many Bibles? Yeah, but sometimes I do read from King James. Really. No, 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 no. I just asked. King James is a little complicated sometimes for kids. But you have so many Bibles. But even with all the Bibles, you were still able to be addicted to a game. Because the Bible could be there, but you may not be reading it, right? Yeah, it could be there and I don't read it. Wow. So it's one thing to have the Bible. It's another thing to read it. So when you were playing the game, you never thought of reading the Bible? No. So how about now? Have you touched it? Yeah, I read the Bible yesterday. And how did it feel? It felt good. Because you know you used to preach. Yeah. I had a dream you were driving a big truck. And you were going so fast on a freeway. But there was a bridge and the road was not they were like it was under construction but you didn't know and if you had passed that construction your truck would have gone into a big sea so while you were driving this truck this truck is like a big old truck and i heard god say don't drive don't drive and I was, I, I couldn't help you, but I was just watching it. You got close to where the, the construction was, but you stopped. But the car was still on, like the engine was still on. You stopped. And in my mind, I was praying. I said, oh God, I hope he doesn't go because he's going to fall into that sea. You were angry. And you just turned the car with speed and just left. That was a scary dream because I thought you were going to fall in that hole. I didn't know you were addicted to game then. When I had that dream, were you already addicted? Um, yes, I was. But then you were still preaching. So how were you preaching and still playing game? I would say um, um, every once in a while. God wants you to focus on school, focus on Him. Don't get distracted with anything. If anything, get addicted to God in school right now.
because you're going to be a really smart kid, but the enemy wants to mess with you, to make you dumb. And something like that game can cause that. You're not going to remember. You're not going to do well. Make you fail. But you're not really supposed to fail because you're really smart. Do you understand? Do you understand? So now when the game is gone, that's deliverance. Then you will now be ready to be that smart guy. Remember the prophet had prophesied in my program that you're going to be a very rich man. Yeah, I remember. And so shall it be. Nothing will change that in Jesus' name. And not rich in a bad way. Rich to the glory of God. Because some people can be rich and they're doing things that God don't want them to do. That's not the kind of wealth you were talking about. Okay? okay. So you're going to call. We're going we're gonna to get you back again. Maybe one week later to see how you've been doing and, you know, how your Bible study is going. Which book did you read last night? I read uh, Deuteronomy. You, you read where? Deuteronomy chapter 1. And then you went and read Job chapter 1, remember? Yeah. Oh, you read Exodus 14? Oh, you read Exodus 14. You did that fasting, the three days? Yes, I did. So when you read Exodus 14, what did you learn from this? Come closer so I can hear you. I learned that um, when I read Exodus 14, 14 I learned that to, you have to leave everything in God's hand. He will work it out for you. Have peace and be still because God is coming to wipe out every force that is not of God. So you only have to do is believe. And the game was already gone then, right? Yeah, it was gone. Was it a struggle to read that chapter? No, it wasn't really a struggle. May God use you more and give you more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in Jesus' name. Yeah. You are free from every affliction in Jesus' name. All right. So Elijah, how many of you enjoyed listening to Elijah? He was open enough to tell us a lot. A lot of kids will gain from this. If we had to get all these kids to come up here and tell us, I'm sure they will sound just like him. Some of your kids may have been lying to you and you didn't even know. Some of them may have been doing some things and you thought they were busy doing something good in their rooms. And with America, you know, everybody had their own room. If it was in Nigeria, most times, although now in Nigeria, people have their room. But when I was growing up, we were like three in our room. You know, like people get smushed up in one room. Okay, mom, do you have anything to say, mommy? No, no, Apostle. Thank you so much, God. Thank you for this opportunity. And yeah. I too, I did not know I was addicted to Facebook. I've been struggling. I'm like, hey. <laughs> So you you have okay so now we are done with Elijah now we are entering the mob I uh, tell us your own woman of God I I did not know I was that addicted until <laughs> I, <laughs> convention time Elijah 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 that's, sweetie that's one of God how you feel about hearing your mom's addiction <laughs> uh I don't really feel anything because I knew she was addicted to it. So you, you knew that your mom need help too? Yes, I did. <laughs> so we just we just finished your own now. Okay, give her the phone, Andy. <laughs> I was not expecting this. So <laughs> please let <I> me. <laughs> we just finished with a kid, though. You know, we're thinking this is a kid problem. No, no, <laughs> no, baby, mama has her own addiction. <laughs> I was like, do you have anything to say? I thought you wanted to say, no, mother God, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> All right, tell us your own addiction. No problem. Oh, well, I did not know I was addicted to it because I, like I said, I don't know much about the 
technological stuff. And I had unfriended, like, no, number one, I don't, I like, I, just very few people I have on my timeline. So I was like, eh, it doesn't bother. But not knowing that, I am really addicted to, to the thing. And then I, in watching Facebook, the TikTok reels will come. And I thought I was learning from it because I was learning a lot of things. But then. TikTok, I, you know, like the reel. Yes. The TikTok reels will come up. It got to the point where these um, the um, secular songs were playing in my head. Now I don't hear God God's song because I will wake up with. <laughs> you look at the head, body in the head, the dummy in the head. <laughs> oh my God! Eh? So this Facebook reel is like ser- no wonder God didn't want me on Facebook for this past. My God. And look at us. A lot of you, we we have over 700 people watching right now. Close to 800. So it's like everybody is knowing that woman of God is serious about YouTube only. Wow. So this will help you to uninstall Facebook. Did you uninstall it or not yet? Oh, I did. You know, the day you were talking, I said, you know what? Somebody just said, go ahead and uninstall it. And I realized. And that was yesterday. That was yesterday. I unre- I uninstalled it. Wow! So it was people like you that God is trying to help. I would sit there for hours, listening to nonsense people doing. I would just sit there. And so I, I, I thought you guys mostly come on Facebook just to watch me. I will. I'll be like <laughs> looking for you, looking for you. Next thing you know, TikTok will pop up. Somebody's doing something funny. I will laugh. Next thing I know, I'm watching the next one. I'm watching the next one. I will come here. Say I'll tell God to go. You know I walked. I'm tired. I'll just spend five minutes with you, and I'll go lay down so I can sleep and rest. Then I'll spend two hours watching the roof instead of me going to bed. Wow, this is serious. So I didn't think Facebook would be that addictive. Somewhere to the delete. How many of you uninstall Facebook as well? Since we're talking about a Facebook addiction, is that the only one you are addicted to Facebook? That's the only one I know how to operate. Wow. Yeah. And those things, when you finish watching one, and I will pop up, and I know. They'll just be popping up. And then it, and it's not um, it's not long to where you will get bored. They're very short, and then it will change. And it was done, it was designed like that to get people hooked on it. Mm, now you guys know what they're doing. There's a lot of research behind it for you to get addicted to it. So it's not long enough. So where you realize, oh my God, I've spent this more time, but because it keeps popping up um, one after the other, you don't realize two, three hours have gone. Someone say yes. So the reels and then recipes. They do everything from recipes to how to get rich. So sometimes this is how the devil would do it. I'll see somebody preaching or sending a good message of, of encouragement. I say, oh yes, at least I'm watching things about God. Next thing you know, it will switch to something else in between. You have some godly stuff in um, interjected in there, but it's mainly nonsense. Mostly worldly, and they use the worldly music background. Worldly music. Next thing you know, you, like I will turn the volume down so I don't hear it. Just I just want to see what the video is about. But then I realize it's in my head. Wow. Wow. Sometimes, yeah, some people say they log that. Logging out is good too. The thing is, all these social media, they are not bad. Just like money is not bad. It's the love of money, right? They say, some people misquote and say money is the root of all evil. No, money by itself can't do it. It's when you love money too much, right? That's when you start to sin against God because you begin to love money more than God. It's the same thing as when you begin to love Facebook too much. But Facebook is not bad. YouTube is not bad. None of these things are bad. But when you now love it too much that you have no control, it now controls you. That's when it's bad. No be so. Like TV is not bad. We need TV. But when you start loving TV too much, then we have a problem. So I need you guys to understand something. Social media, like Facebook has really helped my ministry a lot. YouTube and all of that. But we have to... Um, not have anything have so much control on us that like you say sometimes you'll be there two hours right you're not 
aware that time has gone. Now, if that addiction was given to God, oh, you're going to gain so much. You're going to get a lot of content from heaven. You're going to, you know, hear a lot. You're going to get a lot of deliverance, healing. The anointing will increase because that's a good addiction, right? And even with God, there's a way you get so addicted to him that even him will tell you go to work. Like me, I love God. I'm always in his presence. But there's still time that I have to come and do these videos. I can't just be in the closet and say, Father, I just want to be here all day. I don't want to do anything. I don't. But he's sending me to go and do video. <laughs> he's sending me to do a program. Because don't you get it? So even though I am, I will say I, I am I'm, I'm a fan of God and everything, I'm still able to do errands that he gives me. Or You see? Because meaning excess of everything is bad. You can be in the closet praying 12 hours a day. And you still need to pay your bills. You still need to go to the job, your work. <laughs> you see, so even with that addiction, God himself is okay, get up, go shower, go, go do. With me and God, there was one time that I was praying, I slept off and I was about to go to my closet or something. God told me, go take a shower. Like that's God. Even God wants you clean. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So his own closeness, I would not say the negative kind, but even with him, he knows when it's enough for you to go do other things. But with these demonic things, it's like they pull you in and they just pull you in and just mess up everything. You may even be cooking and you forget it. But if you're with God and you're cooking, if you forget, do you know God can tell you, go check the fire? He just did that. God can tell you, go turn up the stove. Because angels will whisper to you. So God is trying to bring people back to the healthy way of being close to God. Because me, I know a lot of people say they were not used to social media until they started watching me. But along the line, like you said, distractions came. Sometimes even as you're watching me, you're getting people message you on Messenger. And you're tempted to respond. Before you know it, maybe it's something serious or something. And so, and then some people now have so many devices. One is showing my video. But another one. <laughs> right? I'm guilty. I may be showing a video that you feel like you've watched before. Like for instance, I'm showing something from five days of glory. And then you're like, I watched that part already. Let me see what's going on on TikTok. Like I, then I'll catch myself singing it in my head. And I'll stop. I'm like, oh my God, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wow. 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 Look at all this poor guilty. Hmm. And even this YouTube that I'm on, some people are addicted to YouTube. But this fasting is not just about us fasting and praying or hearing all this. It's a withdrawal. We have to withdraw from these things. We have to do what we have to do to help ourselves. Me, I wasn't really addicted to anything. My own addiction is typing prayers for you guys. Like if you had messaged me that dream, you guys know I respond. Maybe not a right away, but I have a whole list of messages and I'm just responding to prayer. I uninstalled my messenger because God is also not, not just helping me, helping all of you because this now made you focus on the video and your son has been located. But if there was another way out of messaging me and getting the response, And there's no other way of getting to me except you're on the video. Yes. So some people have been addicted to messaging the woman of God. Now God has taken that away from them. So they're going to be back to watch the videos. So how have you felt since you since you uninstalled Facebook? I feel so light. Even, even though I'm still not a woman of... I feel so light to the point because before, like yesterday when I came home, I would have been on the toilet watching TikTok forever. I was able to take a shower then, and I had Bible studies with my kids. 
they wow. read something together and then I read on my own. And then I had so many messages that, that I had to sit down and type it. Then I went to sleep to have this powerful dream. Wow, just one day on day one. One day, day one. So now it's making you so excited. You can't, you want to keep this going. It made me so excited that I, after I read, I said, you know what, I'm not going to rush reading the book of Job. I'm going to read chapter one. I'm going to meditate on it. I'm going to go sleep. And I came back. when I This morning when I woke up, I was talking to them. And I got a revelation out of watching, out of just meditating on Job chapter one. Wow. Wow. But now you even have more time for your kids. Oh, wow, yes. Apostle, now I talk about it. When I was reading Job 1, verse 5, I got to verse 5. And I just sat on it. And then I said, you know what? I prayed a prayer. I said, Father, Job used to do burnt offering to purify his, um, his children. I said, but we don't. We have the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord. And I said, well, I use the blood of Jesus to purify my kids. I said, Father, purify my children. And then I went to sleep. I had the dream. And again, again this morning, it was on my mind, Job 1, 5. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to send an offering of $5 for my children to be. And today your son is on the screen. Yes. And then you had the lightning dream. And there was no reels on Facebook. No reels. <laughs> and this is just day one. Wow. Uh -huh. So you and your son are going through a moment right now. Yes. Oh, I God is allowing everybody to hear this because many people are going through this in their household. The bonding will be different now. And it's like God is going to be answering expressly, like quickly. Wow. Because the attention is all on him. To you. Yeah. And I think this song, this thing. We told them nothing. It's just around the same time that this song, this is isn't it? We told them nothing. We told them nothing. Hey. I heard nothing. So you see, this fasting, no wonder God wanted me to bring you guys. We've not, we're just on day two. This is the kind of fasting that it's like someone that is addicted to smoking and giving it up. But you're not doing it all alone. God is helping. And a lot of people are also doing it. And Job, I'm glad you guys started reading because yesterday that's what I heard. But there will be more scriptures. So now that you're not watching many things, doing many things, you'll be quicker in finishing your assignment to read. And like I said, don't just read only what I gave. God will be giving you more scriptures. All of you. You may even get up from a dream and God wants you to read something or sow something. Like me, God, I, I woke up today and I sold $70. Because that's what I saw. That somebody... Here, unmute yourself, sweetie. So you have a partner in Facebook that is addicted to. Yes. And Captain. Yes. Reels on TikTok. Reels TikTok, like I'm on it 247 midnight. I'm on it when you're not on. Even when you're on, I still go to it with the TV on. I confess. Wow. Even when I'm on. You will be on the TV and then I'll be on TikTok. Like with TikTok on Facebook or TikTok on the actual TikTok? TikTok on Facebook, Reels TikTok. Oh, the real. Thing. Okay. So you guys are not really like in the TikTok itself. It's just on Facebook. on Facebook. 
Yes. Wow. Oh my God. So what did you do, Captain Elizabeth? Did you do what she did? So I woke up yesterday and a voice told me to deactivate my page. So remember I had three pages when Facebook had blocked me three times. I had three accounts just to watch you. So I went to all three, I deactivated two. One is still stubborn to deactivate, but I will activate, I will deactivate still. I'll go find the password I was trying to, and it didn't let me, but I will even including messenger, everything. I have deactivated and removed them from the screen, everything. You uninstalled them? Yes. So what do you have now? I only have WhatsApp and I was just telling myself now that I need to uninstall WhatsApp too for the rest of the 21 days. So was, how are you going to communicate? The communication can wait for the 21 days on WhatsApp with the people that I communicate with on WhatsApp. But Facebook, I just feel like Facebook had had me like this, like a cage. But why and did you do WhatsApp? WhatsApp did the same. WhatsApp didn't really cage me because um I was in some. Hey, WhatsApp didn't myself. really cage me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just the way you knew that something caged you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Midnight, I will wake up. The first thing on my phone, Facebook. Hi, Jean Nikki. Wow. So you don't even yeah. wake up, hey, Father. Thank you for giving me life or waking me up today. You just wake up. First thing, I won't lie. And then I'll put the phone down. The voice will say, put that phone down and pray. Then I'll say, okay. And the prayer will be quick. Yes. 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 Even you. Jesus. Help us. Help us, old ladies. Hey, Jesus. So if the adults are so addicted, like, what would the children do now? <laughs> <laughs> what would the, the children Hi, say, you, see, you see, mommy, you see? <laughs> we see we're learning yes. from you. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jesus, help us. And this is why Sometimes when the parents are addicted to something, they don't really pay attention to the kids. That's why they don't know that the kids are also having their own little addiction going. Everybody's addicted to something, so it's all good. It's cool. We all addicted to something, right? Do what you do. Don't bother me. I'm busy on my stuff. I'll it's see. evil. It's not real. It's evil. Why? And so the reels now, like um, Deborah was saying that she started to, those were all these songs started to play in her head. Was it doing the same to you? It would do it. I would go back. Even now, like before the fast started, <laughs> I, would, I would go there, I'll be like, and then I said, take it off. And then I'll go to the next one. <laughs> we all ticked up, and then I would listen to Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey would start cussing. I would get off Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> and my wow. nephew son said, Auntie, put that thing down, Auntie. He wow. told me to put it down. He said, put it down, Auntie. I said, Jesus, help me. I said, yes. So when do you guys really watch me, sir? Hmm. When, when, you, when your, I get ready, my attention has always been divided since all this addiction. I will watch you, watch you, and then when the real TikTok get ready to call me and put you on YouTube on the real TV. And then I'm listening. Then I do TikTok. I go back to the, the real live video. I comment. It's a truth. Wow. Confess to repent. Yes. I am so guilty. Go <laughs> to I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Guilty. I will say to myself, I'm a nurse. I can, I can, we are, we are paid to divide your attention and listen and keen. I could be watching those, those reels. But I can re recant word for word whatever you just said. Right. It's not really setting in the way it should. That's right. True. And it's not having the kind of impact it should. No, it's not. Because there's That's a blocking. True. There's something blocking it. Like imagine what you just did yesterday with your more time with me. So Elizabeth, since you uninstalled it, how have you been feeling? I feel late. I feel good. 
I think our internet. I feel like as we had a disconnect. Wait, 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 we didn't hear you again. Your internet went out. You said you feel light. Start again, Swinny. I feel light, and I feel like I'm free. I'm free for some of the people that just used to write and send things on Facebook that didn't mean the good part for me. I feel like this is a way that God is trying to tell me to disconnect. Because after a while, when they don't see you to send you, they'll stop sending you. Yes. Yes. And you did you feel peace? I felt peace, and I'm happy to be focusing back instead of being distracted. I, I, I've to, been focused. Were you able to read your Bible? Yes. When we watched Job, Job, Job movie last night, Yes. And I have started reading the Bible because we have the assignment again to read the whole Bible because I failed the first time I didn't complete it. I went straight to the New Testament. I finished it and then I got stuck in the Old Testament. So now I'm finished with Genesis. I'm on Exodus. I read Genesis. I read Genesis one day, all of Genesis 50 chapter one day. Do you feel like this fasting is going to help you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Don't you feel a little restless that you don't have it? Like there's there's always a withdrawal kind of thing. Like tell the truth. Just tell two of you. I need you guys. Don't just talk about the good side. No, I they have to be totally good. honest. I, I like I was was reaching for my phone. My finger like is at a certain position to scroll. I, I'm looking for it. Like I, when I remember. I said, oh, let me put it down. I'm not. It's not even there. That's when I realized I am actually addicted to it. So that's so when I tell you guys that my story of how God made me uninstall the game, and the first day I was looking for the game, like almost 50 times. I went looking to my email. I went to my email. I me knew too. I I I deactivated it from Facebook. So I took the phone and I was on the email like thinking it was Facebook today. I need to think. <laughs> How can your email be Facebook? This is confusion. <laughs> confusion from addiction. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. Yes. Oh. You know, after you tell us the story, so and I, I honestly thought that I was not addicted to anything. Because after you tell us you tell us the story about you again, I say, you know, Father, I used to play um Candy Crush. At the time when I started watching you, and then you you talked about your story. I said, you know what, Father, before you're gonna make me take to take it take it away from me, and it's gonna be painful. Let me get rid of it. So I got rid of all of my addictions, like the Candy Crush, whatever TV show, Scandal, all of that stuff. I got off of them. I stopped watching them. So it was shock to me that Facebook became an addiction. I stopped watching Nigerian movie too. Someone I was YouTube addicted. YouTube is a better solution because you subscribe on what you want. Facebook, we couldn't focus. God, thank you. That's for them. Thank you. Even YouTube, you can easily get distracted because when you go on newsfeed, you have a lot of things coming up. But what comes up on your newsfeed depends on the kind of things you watch. True. If you watch a lot of Jesus movie and all of that stuff, or if you watch a lot of me, God will be popping up. YouTube will be popping a lot of my videos, even from old ones. Sometimes God may just pop up one video I did three years ago on your screen, talking about stop worrying. Maybe you were worrying. And now you'll be able to easily find my videos on YouTube. It's easy. It's easier than on Facebook. Facebook doesn't bring a lot of videos. But YouTube, you can come and scroll. You see eight of different women of God, different videos. And then one of them, he can't post until after the fast. So I think God has seen that this is a distraction. And God is also telling me that some of you, because of all this addiction that you have, it affects how you see and how you hear, how you dream. And some of the dreams are not from God anymore, but you would think it's God. But it's not. It's from the things that you do, the things that you watch. They come into your dreams and you're thinking God is showing you hmm. like you think God is showing you something 
But it's not always God. Because there's so many other things speaking to you. And that has messed you up. Some of you have made mistakes. Thinking God showed you a vision. God showed you a dream. But it wasn't really God. Like Darius is an example. He had a vision of a car. Darius, God bless you, sweetie. Hello, Apostle. God God bless you. So, I just started hearing this now. Right when I was about to call you. I think God is beginning to tell me one of the reasons why you may have had that vision of you getting that car. So all this while you've been addicted to all of these apps? Yes. yes. Um, um, is there an echo? There an echo? Hold on. Okay. It's better now. Okay. Yes. Um, the thing about it is um, before I, I wasn't like really into like social media, probably like when I was um, in Atlanta, but it's just like I find myself going back into it, uh, YouTube, Instagram, um, Twitter, uh, what is it? Not Snapchat, TikTok, and Facebook Watch. And what do you normally do on these apps? So I, I, I explained about YouTube because YouTube is the worst one. Um, YouTube, what I do, like I may watch cooking on there. Uh, sometimes I watch sermons or uh, I will watch games on YouTube. I watch video games on YouTube. And then um, Instagram. Instagram, really, I watch like people dancing on um, Instagram. Uh, probably. Dancing it, to like what? Dancing to like, uh, it's not like really something because sometimes I don't, I don't like play the music. I just watch them like dance really. Because you like um, to dance. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And then uh, I see like probably people doing like cooking things on uh, Instagram. And which other app again? And Facebook, Facebook Watch. I watch roller coasters. I watch reality TV on Facebook Watch. Um, I will watch uh, TikTok reels. Um, video games, preaching as well. Yes, a lot of stuff that you can go on for hours and hours. So when I told you I had that dream where the you're not supposed to watch while they're fasting. Hmm. So you just, when did you uninstall all of this? I went ahead and uninstalled it uh, the day you, I think it was yesterday, the day of the fast. Yeah, the day of the fast yesterday on Friday. Friday, it was. That's when I uh, went ahead and saw um, everything. Somebody say, "Wow, God is good, brother Darius. You look different. <laughs> it's looking more mature. What do you guys think? It looks different, right? Thank you. <laughs> you're having your. You're looking more like a man. Thank you, Amen. To God more like somebody, that, somebody that is making money now. Amen. Because you see, you got promoted. 